Good morning, good morning, and good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rise and Slay Morning Show. My name is Rochelle Slay, Queen Hemingway, CEO and founder of Slay to Success. I empower and advise women professionals, especially women veterans, to step into their most authentic personal brand to gain lucrative opportunities. And we focus on four different areas, y'all, okay? Appearance, behaviors, communication skills, and digital presence. Because in this next chapter, we about to slay all the things. And slay means to kill it, to dominate it, and to nail it, to be on point, to impress greatly, to dream big and work hard until you own it. It is also an extra, uh, acronym because you know how extra I am, y'all. All right. S, stay ready to be ready. L, lead out loud. A, a sense of community, and why you are built to last. So y'all, I wasn't here last week. I had a lot of things going on and I needed to take a break, okay? So I did just that because every now and again, we need to do that. So if you are here and you are tuning in, please let me know that you're here, okay? So I can give you the proper shout out because you could be anywhere else, but you decided to share a little bit of time with me in this space because in here, we talk about personal branding, okay? We talk about it until the cows will come home. And personal branding is the intentional effort to let people know what you're doing and what you all about. All right. It's very intentional and it gives you that visibility, especially in those industries that you want to have authority over. Good morning, Mosaic Sparks. How are you this morning? Wishing you all the wet, the, the best in this week to come because, yes, it is the beginning of the week. And I'm so glad that you are consistently showing up to support me. So thank you, Leslie George. Okay, because I had to say your name, um, Madame. So thank you so much. Awesome. That is so good to hear. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and congratulations on all your significant accomplishments and all the things that are going on with you too, because we are in our winning season this year. Okay. So I absolutely um, want to say keep going and keep slaying. Okay. Um, so personal branding, y'all, it allows us to participate in opportunities that might otherwise uh, be closed. We just don't know, right? But we are ready, especially in this next chapter, if you're in your next chapter or you are thinking about stepping in to your next chapter, okay? Because our work and our reputations that we have built over time truly speak for us even when we can't influence decision-making and when we are not in the rooms. All right, so we're going to identify what makes us us. We're going to define the system that powers us um, to exhibit or demonstrate our personal brand. We're going to put ourselves out there, okay, in person and um, online. We are going to use all these networking opportunities to our advantage, and we're going to review and we're going to refine. So today, Y'all, we're going to talk about, you're absolutely welcome. We're going to talk about how to reset your personal brand during transition. Now, transition is different for everyone, all right? Sometimes we have significant emotional events that happen. It doesn't just have to be in our career. It could be something in our personal life that changes. Um, and so at this point, this juncture, this special moment in time, we need to do some reevaluation and perhaps reset. And I advise everyone that comes to me for you know services, I advise them to do it during the transition. Okay, creating a personal brand strategy plan. What do you want to enhance in your appearance, in your behaviors, body language, communication skills, or your digital presence? And creating the steps and the goals to get you there because. In this next chapter, I'm not messing around. You have seen me here, there, and everywhere, all right? And it is in the energy that I want to be in, and it's with the people, places, and things that I truly, truly um, gain value from. So I have my notes on my iPad, y'all. So occasionally, I will look down here. But I'm going to give you 
um, some tips. Okay, so if you're transitioning out of the military, transitioning out of a career or transitioning from a significant emotional event, I hope this can help um, you to to just kind of see where do you want to do? What do you, who do you want to be? And what do you want to be known for y'all? All right. Being very intentional with what we're doing. So the first step I would say is to know your core message. What is the message that you're trying to convey? Um, so imagine that you only had 10 seconds to let someone know your brand. Okay and how, do, how you do what you do, what would you say? A lot of people just don't know or they haven't really thought about it. And they're getting very intimidated almost to a point where they don't know how to share information. They start to shrink themselves, all right? They become muted because they really haven't thought about it. But your core message is the bedrock of everything you do and say as a brand, everybody's got a personal brand, everybody, okay? So break it down, all right, into some distinct qualities. So something like, are you authentic? Are you empowering? Are you inspiring? Are you resilient? I know for me, my core message is slay. I start from there and then I build out from, from that. Stay ready, be ready, lead out loud, a sense of community, and you are built to last. There's a lot that goes into that. All right. I can go into many different directions, but the core message is when you have opportunity to show up, do it in most excellence. Do it to the best of your ability. You have no idea where you're going to go or who you may come across. It could be just that next step. For you to open up to that amazing opportunity that you've been looking for. Um, when I retired, y'all, I decided to take on a whole new way of sharing my message between speaking, writing books, um, uh, getting my master's degree in strategic le leadership, getting certified as an image consultant, all these different uh, ways that I can communicate who I am and how I wanted to show up. Good morning, S. Maxwell. Yes, tuning in from New Jersey. How you doing, Queen? Thank you so much for being here live. I absolutely love your presence. Thank you so much, Queen. Um, so what is it, okay? Think of three words. And for me, I knew based on what people were telling me, number one, I'm inspiring, all right? They are inspired by the way that I continue to do self-improvement, um, the way that I take on professional development, how I show up, okay? So I'm also resilient. I have been through a lot of ish, okay, during my 30-year military career. So if those that don't know, I did serve 30 years in the United States Air Force hood. Huh? And during that time, there was a lot of different situations that happened and I had to learn how to navigate in a system that was not designed for me to succeed. And I was able to accomplish that um, and getting to the highest enlisted grade on an installation serving in the highest enlisted position. Was it easy? Absolutely not. Okay, absolutely not. But what did I gain? I gained a lot of experience, expertise, secrets, strategies, to help someone else who may be going through the same journey, all right? So think about it and keep these qualities, whatever you say is your top three qualities that drives you and embodies your purpose and your values, keep these at the front center of your mind and then you create content, okay? And have conversations and present yourself in that way. This is a clearer message for you. It's easier for people to connect with you instantly when you have your core message. We have lots of stories, y'all, but what is the main story? Okay. When you know this, this is magnetic and you can share it and be very like, so yesterday, y'all, and, and I'm all over the place this morning because I have a lot going on, but I'm trying to stay focused for you this morning. Yesterday, I had a speaking engagement. Um, and I did for uh, the Vet Reset Foundation inaugural event. 
I did not practice for it or or whatnot because I have been practicing over the past three years on the story. And when I was able to share, it just, I just went in, right? Slade came from when one of my airmen um, tragically lost his battle with depression. That was his favorite word. And so I took his word and I now use it in everything that I do. And I created a business around it and it is thriving because it is unique and it's personal to me. I know the story. I don't have to look at someone else's story and replicate what they have. All of us have a story and it's very unique to us. So I need everyone to think about how you're going to use that towards your advantage, leverage it. Okay, so know your core mass message is the first tip. The second one is you got to dress the part every day, every day. Okay, whatever that is for you. For me, I dress up in pink. See, y'all, I got these cute little pink flower earrings from Amazon. Okay, Amazon delivers. <laughs> I saw those. I was like, yes. And I've got pattern pink flower top on. This is what I chose for me, but it speaks volumes before I even say a word. Everyone knows um, the, the people that. I know, all right, not everyone, but the people in my circle and my community know that I'm going to be wearing pink. And I do so every single day. I have some pink on. It might not be all pink, pink, but I dress in alignment with my brand, my personal brand, and it creates this visual story that others instant, instantaneously can read. I chose pink for myself because it's a reminder to me for more grace, kindness, empathy, compassion, because I was hard on myself in the military uniform, y'all. I would beat myself up for decisions I had to make. And these were hard decisions that affected people's careers, their lives. And I wasn't so proud of some of the um, decisions that I made. I made the best decision I could. But sometimes those stories or those situations pop up in my mind. And when I wear pink, it is a promise to myself that, you know, sometimes we don't give ourselves enough uh, grace or even enough credit. So that is why I wear pink. It's deep. It's not just because I love the color pink, which I do, but it is also a reminder um, for me. And so I, I have these statement pieces, right? That's what I normally do. Um, and this consistency builds trust. It has built all these different things for me. Um, and it sets the tone for my brand, the values and the goals. And so being consistently, people begin to feel that they truly know you. Because when I step out, they're like, hey, <laughs> Slay Queen. And that's usually what I get because now they know and they see and they're listening in. So thank you so much. I have a LinkedIn user. Hi, what's happening? You're so right that the way we present ourselves creates a visual story. That's a great way to describe it. Yes, it is. You know, and I had to learn this during my transition. I took advantage of the transition to really think about how I wanted to show up in this next chapter in all these different elements. So that's what I do now. I help women in particularly, I do have some male clients, um, but I do help women in particularly find out what it is and how they wanna show up. Okay, so one, know your core message and two, dress the part every day, every day, all right? Now, you have to create a consistent voice. People have to know how your voice sounds. What is it that people are drawn to? Because this is really about um, setting it, the tone right away. Is it warm and encouraging? Is it direct and powerful? Is it uh, making sure that uh, you uh, exhibit and demonstrate your technical abilities? So imagine your audience knows you only through your words, right? Sometimes people, um, even though we have our pictures and, hey, LinkedIn, you know, LinkedIn, I show up every day in LinkedIn, right? Um, and we have our pictures up. 
make sure that you flex your brand's tones, your values, and your goals. And remember, if you speak and write with consistency, they're going to know you, okay? They should not get two different people when you're online and in person. I have seen it. Sometimes I think people um, are afraid to show their, their real selves because they don't know what they're going to get. And so it is, it is so important, right, that we set the tone. S. Maxwell. Yes, Queen. What we got? Woo. Yes. Okay. I believe our brand is what we will consider our professional personality in regards to working in corporate spaces. I know the importance of how personality can get you far and how your characteristics will put you in positions that even your expertise sometimes does not believe our brand is what we will consider our professional personality and in regards to working in corporate spaces. I know the importance of how personality can get you far, how your personal brand and characteristics will. Absolutely. You know, um, I didn't really learn what you just shared until much later in my military career. I was just going with the flow, y'all, because it was easier to hide and blend in with the crowd. I didn't want to get um, noticed because when you got noticed, sometimes there were repercussions and there was negative repercussions from it. But as I learned myself, identifying who I am, who I wanted to be, in the uniform, it started to shift and I allowed my personality to take presence and to be the forefront. And when it came time for opportunities, I saw that I was being selected because of my personality. Now, my personality in the uniform was professional, but it also allowed them to see who Rochelle really was. Okay, and so that is what we're talking about with this person, Brandon. So thank you so much um, for sharing. I know, right? Sometimes I get you, Queen. I already know. <laughs> Sometimes it be like that, right? These phones and our and our fingers, they don't actually, you know, write to what we're trying to share. Um, so the next tip that I would say is practice the art of being seen. I want you to start practice the art of being seen. Um, because the audiences can't connect with us if they don't see us. And this is one of the different um, modalities that I help my clients more so with. People are hesitant to put themselves themselves out there. But being visible is more than posting online. It's about making your mark in the meaningful spaces that you are in. Show up at networking events, show up and give talks, volunteer, or even collaborate on community projects. So my way of showing up and being more visible, um, I took on the approach of both passive and active. So passive is online here with y'all, okay, in the digital space. And then in actively in my community, and across the DMV. And I use that approach. So um, it has been working for me to get these opportunities that I otherwise wouldn't have gotten because I have taken a very intentional approach to it. So I joined Chamber of Commerce. I, I joined Business Women's Network of Howard County. Um, I'm also a member of the National Associations of Black Veterans. I'm a member of the Air Force uh, Sergeants Associations. Um, but these opportunities, and I also um, volunteer at Success and Style. I haven't done it in a few months, but I'm about to get back into it. These are opportunities for you to show up, okay, and build your brand. Because building your brand, your personal brand, is like building muscle. The more you practice, the more that you do it, the stronger your presence becomes, okay? I absolutely know that from personal experience. And lastly, I want you to own your expertise. All right, we're talking about resetting your personal brand during transition, whatever that transition is. So I want you to own your expertise. This is where many, again, hesitate because they don't feel that their expertise is very important or it doesn't measure up to someone else. Um, so I don't have titles or anything um, attached to my name. I used to when I was in military uniform, but I don't anymore. And I don't rely on them to show what my expertise is 
But my expertise, your expertise is your personal brand's backbone. So own it with pride. Talk about your achievements, okay? Talk about what you know. And don't be unapologetic or apologetic about the value you bring. Don't shrink yourself, all right? When somebody asks, hey, what you're good at, I want you to explain it to them, all right? It's not bragging boastfully, right? It's, it's really being able to be proud of what you have done to this point. Many of us have done significant things and we hide it because we don't think that it's important or we don't want no one saying, oh my goodness, you're just, you're just sharing too much. This is when we start dimming our lights, y'all. Okay. So when we consistently demonstrate the knowledge and the expertise, people see us and as the trusted authority. I'm your personal brand expert all day. And I can say that <laughs> because it works time and time again for me and for the clients that I serve. It works for them too. When I get emails and messages talking about, I was able to get this type of opportunity or uh, be able to speak, or you know, I wrote a book or whatnot, or I'm writing a book and here's what I um, was able to do today. It gives me the pleasure of knowing um, that I am helping out. And so let your light shine so others know exactly why you are the go-to. That's why I created this talk show. Okay. I got two, but this one right here is about personal branding. So anytime that you're wanting to uh, enhance your personal brand, you can come back here. I got so many videos on YouTube, y'all. <laughs> it's not even funny. Okay. So today, y'all, we talked about resetting your personal brand during transition. Again, the transition period is the most crucial period because you can stop you can reevaluate, you can redefine, you can review whether or not it's working for the opportunities that you want to attract in this next um, chapter, if you will. Um, so we talked about knowing your core message. What are you going to share? Okay. In 10 seconds, how are you going to describe your personal brand to someone? Using some, th some words, pick three words, okay, that e embody your purpose and your values. You're going to dress the part every day. Again, mine is pink pattern. You will see a lot of that all the time. Um, but I do it every day when I'm out and about. Now, when I'm laying around here at the house, I might not have on pink, all right? Because that's just what it is. But when I step outside, that's what I'm doing because I want people to know that I'm bold, adventurous, compassionate, empathetic, kind. Um, and so I'm serious about this. I'm really serious about it. And when I'm serious about my brand, others start to realize that um, they can also be a, a serious about their brand in every at interaction they make. So this style is not just an outfit. It's a message that I'm sending. All right. Then you got to be consistent. What is your consistent voice? Um, I always share on my post, keep on slaying till you can't slay no more. That's very consistent. All right. What is the tagline? What are the words that you're using? Um, is it warm and encouraging? Is it direct and powerful? And then you got to practice the art of being seen. You have to be visible to build your personal brand. No one's going to know. And sometimes we are the best kept secret because we don't know how to put ourselves out there. But I help people put themselves out there. OK, and this is an active and a passive uh, strategy. You got to be doing stuff, networking, you know, in person, volunteering at it, uh, at events or and online. And then you got to own your expertise. It is your expertise. It's your story. These are your achievements. You did it. Okay. You are the go-to in whatever field that you say you are. And so you got to build that. All right. And, we, and there's a number of ways you can build it. Um, we will come back on another show and I will tell you how to build that um, in, in certain ways. That way you can get started. So, again, this is your Slay Queen, Rochelle Hemingway, CEO and founder of Slay to Success. And it's time to reset your personal brand during your transition.
So thank you so much for you all being here this morning. So I had Mosaic Sparks, S. Maxwell, a LinkedIn user. Okay. <laughs> um, so I will be back here uh, Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Slate to Success talk show. I wasn't there last weekend because I was at a woman veterans conference and y'all, I danced so much that my left knee is a little bit aggravated, but guess what? It did not stop me from getting my workout in today. So if you have not moved your body today, I expect that you do, okay? I expect you to get out there because movement is medicine. And if we are trying to build these personal brands and get it on out here, we got to stay as healthy as we possibly can. Great to see you, great advice. It's Natalie, hey, hey queen. Yeah, it just doesn't have your name on here. So um, yeah, let's get that picture queen, okay? So I can see you and know that it's you. So thank you so much for being here, queen. All right, y'all, we will see you next weekend. Keep on slaying until you can't slay no more. And I'm out. <laughs>